In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the best route combination in Madden 24, why it is the best route combination in Madden 24, and how you can create it from multiple different formations that you might have in your arsenal. Now, if you guys want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, that's going to be available in our Patreon. It's only $10. I actually just dropped a pretty significant update to it that adds a lot of different plays and understands setups and all that. And the cool part about our ebooks is also we teach route progressions. We teach the if this, then that of Madden as like why if they if they do this, what is now open as a result. So if you guys want to get access to all of that information, it's available by being a Patreon member. The cool part is you get access to all of the eBooks. I actually have a really, really good Jets eBook. It's probably my best offensive eBook I've ever done in the Jets playbook. So anyways, let's get into it. Bunch offset out of Colts, and we're going to be taking a look at the play Curl Flat. This play is super versatile and primarily versatile because of the main corner route on the play. And what we're going to do is we're just going to show this against a variety of different coverages. And we're going to talk about some of the different, you know, coverage possibilities that your opponent might have. So first and foremost, we're going to go against baseline press dollar, which is pretty much the meta and really the most effective way to play defense this year. So the route combination, if you just look at it as kind of a basic system, at the core, it is a big corner, little corner passing concept. So the purpose of the big corner is to pull any outside quarter or outside third. And the purpose of the short corner is to be able to basically get underneath those zones. So you'll see right here, we're going to put the tight end on a tight end apprentice uh, corner route. And then we're going to streak our outside receiver. So you see, this is what the route combo looks like on the right hand side. This is the primary concept side. Now, from there, we can do a lot of stuff on the back side. If we wanted to, we could make this a little bit more of a flood concept by putting the running back on a motioned over table route. We can block the running back and just put a backside drag here uh, to give us a little bit more protection. We could put a flat and a in in route concept on the back side if we wanted to do that. There's a lot of what you a lot of different things you can do on the back side. The primary concept side is essentially what I've called before in Madden as a sale concept. And the primary purpose of this play is we are going to flood the bunch side of the field. Now, one little more bigger tip uh, before this is to run this with your bunch to the wide side of the field. So you want the short corner to run from the short side of the field to the wide side of the field. So as you'll see here, they're in a cover four defense. That cover four will go defend that uh, deeper corner route, and then we'll be able to throw the shorter corner route underneath. Now, the cool part about this is this is really good against base press dollar because let's say the slot corner on the left side, let's say he's pressed up. Even, even if he's in a cloud flat, it doesn't matter. This is going to get over the top every single time as Night Train Lane, of course, makes a great play while I'm talking about it. This, this route does get consistently over the top of a cloud flat. Okay, we'll try to show that again. So I press cloud flat, and we got to probably freeform this up, but you see how I can throw it right on the sideline? And even though there's a deep zone and mid zone KO over there in Madden 24, it's very difficult for them uh, to be able to actually knock the ball out if you catch it right on the sideline. So this is another reason why this is just such a good play. And it doesn't matter if it's cover three. It doesn't matter if it's cover four. And so this makes this automatically probably the most effective way in Madden 24 to be able to beat zone coverage because there's only a couple of things that they can actually do to stop it. This is what makes a really good play in Madden, a play that they have to actually do something specific to defend it. And there was a cover three coverage. Now I want to show you a cover two coverage and just kind of explain like what makes this or why this play is so good against a cover two. And obviously we're able to set up different pass protections and all of that stuff out of this as well. But in general, we're just taking a look here at the route combo. So I'm not going to send too much pressure here today. But you can set up a full a full fledged uh, pass protection with your running back being able to block in the concept. But what you'll see is while that cloud flat will defend the short corner, it will not be able to get back and defend the deep corner, which is why we're putting that streak on the field to be able to clear that space out. Now, you might say, well, okay, but what about like a double Mabel coverage? Like what about like a 30 and a 25? A lot of people like to do this and um, and we'll just we'll just do this at a dollar. No, you don't have to do this at a 6-1. It's basically the same coverage, whether it's out of 6-1 or dollar. So essentially what people are going to do is they're going to back off these outside defenders and they're going to put them in those 30-yard flats and then they're going to have those underneath purple zones. Okay, so a couple of things that we have going for us here. 
The biggest thing is because we're using the play curl flat out of Colts, it has a deep corner route that can get over the top of that defender. Now, in practice mode, there is a little bit of like kind of random bumping. So the best way, and this is why, in my opinion, the best way to run this concept is actually from the Jets playbook. Uh, if you guys want to get my full ebook on that, you get both of them for the price of one. It's only 10 bucks. You get all of it. So that's in the description. But the reason why is because we could also run the double corner concept like this. And out of Jets, it has a play called Corner Strike, where this corner out is kind of like that short corner from the tight end. The reason why this is helpful, especially for the cover two aspect of the defense, is this gives him a little bit more of a possibility of being able to get over the top. Now, in this in practice mode, they're actually playing this a lot better than they will in the game. So what I want to quickly point out is if they do go to that deeper corner route, you can still throw this tight end. So you see here, just kind of throw it right in that little pocket and it gets in that spot. Again, you would want to throw that like where he gets to the sideline a little bit more than I did, probably wait on it just a little bit longer. But in general, this uh, R1 corner should get over the top of a 30 yard cloud in game. And you might need to wait on it a little bit longer, but you see, and it kind of, I don't know why uh, Adderley's playing it out of his mind. If it's a 25-yard cloud, it's definitely getting over the top of it. And actually, most people will use 25s because the 25 will kind of midpoint certain other route combinations that you would use. But in general, I mean, even if even if they are running a 30 here, you know, just wait on this on the sideline, throw it right there, catch it, and you see this gets underneath the 30-yard cloud. So there's multiple ways to be able to attack the double Mabel aspect of the defense as well within this, uh, which is another, you know, kind of point of it being one of the most effective route combos. Now, that being said, what is the best way to defend the double corner route method? And really the best way to defend it is a couple different things, but they all kind of equate to the same uh, basic strategy and we'll show this out of cover four drop and the basic strategy would be to utilize a backed off slot corner on the double corner side so for example we'll use this backed off slot corner and we're going to put him in a cloud flat so you see we have that cloud flat over there and that's a stock cloud flat it could be a 20 yard cloud flat as well but in general the stock cloud flat you'll see he will do a really good job of playing this on the on that uh, on that right sideline, this is why situationally you want to do certain things. One of those simple situational kind of adjustments would be to put this guy on a little zig on the right hand side, and now we're this is really a true big corner little corner concept where we're really using this deep corner as a true pull route, and this is really a little bit more of a flood concept now as opposed to just a, uh, what I would categorize as like a, a formal sale concept. So again, we'll take a look at this and I'll show you some other things we can do as well. But in general, the cloud flat will now go to the tight end and then we can just check down to our underneath route, juke up field and get some easy yardage. So it's a way that, you, but, but again, in general, like that's the main method they're gonna utilize to defend this. So then if, they, if we start doing that, the other method they will do is they'll put this safety in a cloud flat. So they'll put him in a curl flat. They'll shade outside, underneath, and over top. And then they'll basically have a coverage that looks something like what you see on your screen. And now we have this underneath flat. So you see all of the zones that they have to have on that side to be able to defend this. And then the cool part is what we can do offensively is simply motioning out this clear out streak running the same exact concept. So all the reads are the same if they don't do these adjustments. But by motioning out this clear out streak, now your deep corner route has a chance to be able to get over the top on that right sideline. So this is how you can really utilize this concept to be able to really attack any defense. And it just starts by its simple ability to be able to just stress the deep sideline on the right, the underneath sideline, and then as well, you know, you start to kind of piece it together. Another really underrated aspect of the concept is really the backside drag. The cool part about a backside drag is it's a great pressure release. Like if they're sending slot corner pressure on the left side, uh, one of the most popular blitzes in the game is really this right here where they're going to send, you know, kind of heavy pressure on this left side. That guy on the left might be in a, in a flat. So what you'll see here is the whole middle of the field becomes open for this slot corner or for this uh, wide receiver drag. 
So that is the big corner, little corner concept. They have to do a lot to be able to shut this down. It then open, opens up other windows for your offense. If you want to learn my entire offense, make sure you join the Patreon. You get access to multiple different offensive and defensive eBooks. I think we have over 15 so far this year. So to sign up, head down to the description and click the link down below.